most protected and valuable trash in the world, probably. And we're going to turn it into beautiful, sustainable products. You know, this is something that, that has never been done before. This will be the first product ever made from plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, aren't there already a lot of products made from ocean plastic? Well, for that it's important to realize that there, right now there's no uh, real standard, no hard definition of what ocean plastic means. So it's really kind of this murky definition, which could mean 100% plastic from the ocean or 1% plastic from the ocean. And even, it's even possible that none of the plastic at all came out of the ocean. It, it's, it's quite, quite crazy. And what well, we believe that is important to bring transparency to the market. Next uh, destination for the plastic will be uh, bondage storage until we begin the transportation from Canada to Europe. No one will see this plastic until it comes to Rotterdam. That's why we put these seals on. Because by having these numbered seals, they indicate if, the, if it's been opened or not. Because you obviously can't seal it once it's broken. So once, now that we know that the seal is on there with the number, DMVGL has taken the picture of that seal. They know the number. So if they arrive, once they arrive in Rotterdam, we'll look at the number, we'll see that it's the same number. We know no one has entered and touched this container. AVR waste in Rotterdam. We're gonna empty out both containers, mm -hmm. separate them into hard plastic, yep. rigid plastics, fish nets, ghost nets, yep. soft plastic, and then load them back up. Okay. That's all we're doing. That's okay. Yeah. Where's the closest mustering station? Like it's where, where we're here. Yep. Thank you. Stand back a bit. This one we jam packed pretty tight in there. And I'll record everything, so. So I see this, I don't see just this, that it's here now. I also see that it's no longer in the ocean. And to me, that makes me feel good that we'd be able to get this out of the ocean. And what's the plan in terms of bringing it here or are we going to leave it out there? I say we bring, we can bring everything in here if you want. The rain, right? Yeah. yeah best. So what do we say? Every step of this process is getting more and more organized. So now this is our first step in actually getting everything out and at least separating it into rigids and ghost nets. So in the next step, we will be looking at the polymer type. So there will be polypropylene and there will be HDPE and those materials are very incompatible. So we want to separate those and recycle them separately. So from now on, we're gonna create more and more detailed fractions and also more and more pure fractions. So the material gets more and more useful <laughs> in terms of recycling. 53.2. This is... 25.1. Uh... Check. Okay. 16D. With the chain of custody, my job is to make sure that no matter how small those fractions get, or how many times we split it up, we always be able to trace it back to the original source of where it came in the ocean. We are going inside the system and then we're going to remove one of the ghost nets. We find out uh, this morning there's a ghost net uh, sort of trapped inside the system. We can slowly go backwards while we are holding the hook. We are <laughs> so it goes well? <laughs> it goes very well. It's very heavy. 
It's a big one. Huh? Yes, nice. I work closely with Ava. Her main job is to turn this catch into something, a viable product. Do that, me and her have to work together to make sure we know exactly what we caught and where we caught it. This has got maybe four or five different types of plastic in there. My name is Chris De Bak. I work for DNV Gel Business Insurance. Uh, and right now we are uh, auditing or inspecting to see that all the bags that were uh, in, uh, put in the, in the container in, in Canada, that they came out here in, uh, in Rotterdam, that the seal that was put on the container in, uh, in Canada, that was still the, the, the same seal that was here in, the, in Rotterdam. So that's what we verified uh, this morning. I'm actually really excited. It's the first time I'm seeing it and it's actually much more than I expected. So we actually had to get a crane to load this container because there were so many fish nets that didn't even fit. So that's good news. All the revenue we generate will be reinvested in the cleanup operations. So at some point we will be self-sustainable so we can fund our own operation. This is 56.1. Yeah. For now, people only have been with us on the ocean and while building the system, but now we're actually going to take them onto this journey from what happens when you get it out of the ocean. And it really does not end there. It's like, it, for us, it only starts there. So today we took a first step in getting some order in the chaos that we had in those containers, and uh, we will continue doing that. Done.